Hello, I'm Selena Downs with the headlines on Al Jazeera. Kenya's president says the armed fighters who stormed a shopping mall have been defeated. At least 72 people died in the four-day siege. The government has called for a period of national mourning. The attack was carried out by the Somali group Al-Shabaab. The Kenyan authorities say all those who supported them will be brought to justice. Mohamed Addo is in Nairobi. President uh, Kenyatta's speech that was meant to uh, reassure the Kenyan people seems to have left so many questions unanswered. There was a lot of ambiguity in it. For example, he did not say what happened to the hostages who had been held hostage over the uh, four-day period that the um, uh, crisis was going on. The UN General Assembly is underway in New York with the two big issues of Syria and Iran dominating the agenda. Barack Obama said the international community and the UN must enforce any ban on the use of chemical weapons in Syria. The US president also talked of his hopes for a diplomatic or diplomatic progress on Iran's nuclear program. Our diplomatic editor, James Bates, has more. We're hearing from White House aides that the White House did talk to the Ira Iranians, not about a sit-down meeting, but what, about their, what they're calling an encounter. And they said that uh, the Iranians didn't want to do it at this time. They felt it would be too complicated at this time. The Iranians, though, were prepared to sit down with another world leader, uh, the French President Francois Hollande. Don't forget, you can watch Al Jazeera online. Head to our website, aljazeera.com, and click on the Watch Now icon. Those are the headlines on Al Jazeera. I'm Selena Downs. Goodbye.